Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm extremely excited for it because it's going to be a collab video with my good friend Tashi on YouTube. Now, we are going to be doing a palette bingo with a little twist. So before we get into the palette bingo and before I get into explaining the little twist, I just want to mention a couple things about Tash because honestly, if you're not subscribed to her already, then what are you doing? Because she is just so funny, so positive, so humble. Her smile is just so beautiful. She greets you with that beautiful smile every single video when you click it she's consistent I just I just really truly truly love watching her videos sometimes I get a little backed up but I truly love watching her videos and I believe I found her or she found me whichever way it happens we found each other because we both watch juicy jazz so I'm pretty sure about a hundred percent sure we probably found each other on a comment that either one of us left and when I subscribed to her I think she was at like 60 subscribers now she is at 262 and I feel like she's just growing so quickly because she's just so amazing like her videos are just they're always detailed she always talks to you her laugh is just her laugh makes me laugh it's just I don't know you know when you watch someone's video and you get this vibe like if you can really hang out with them in real life unfortunately we don't live by each other because you know I live in Brooklyn and everyone else wants to live far away from me but we do text, we do talk, and I just really, truly, I, I just love her, I adore her, and I'm just so happy we are collabing with each other. So thank you, Taj, for collabing with me, and I just cannot wait. So if you want to hear the little twist, and you want to see what this video is going to be about, and what numbers is going to be popping up, then just keep on watching. Also, I forgot to mention in the introduction, I will be leaving her YouTube and her Instagram down below. Make sure you subscribe to her. Make sure you follow her. She is the subscriber that you want to have because she truly supports and she sits there and watches the whole video. She's just amazing. One other thing, if I sound a little bit low, like always, it's 12 o'clock in the morning. I have been trying to film but it's just not happening with finals and then graduation because I did graduate on June 13th and I also have one more class to finally take in Kingsborough and then I'm going to Brooklyn College which I'm so so excited about but I have one more class it is a six week course and it's four days a week so filming hasn't been happening for me so it is what day is it? So it's Tuesday, technically Wednesday, and I do have class at 10.45 in the morning, but I'm up because I want to film and because I should have had this video filmed already and it should have been up last month. But let's get into it because I'm rambling too much. Okay, so I did ask Taj if she wanted to collab with me. Now, I already knew I wanted to collab with her from the moment I subscribed to her because her personality is just amazing. But I figured we can do a palette bingo because I already mentioned I'm not that creative. But we have recently both purchased the Morphe 39S, which it is this beautiful purplish palette. We both purchased this palette, so of course I figured, you know what, let's do a palette bingo with this palette, but let's do it with a little twist. Now I did watch Katie Marie's um palette bingo she did a collab with someone where they had to pick each other's numbers but the thing that they had to do they had to send one number at a time and that was the first number that they were able to use so they did not know the five numbers that they was going to get and they just had to figure out where they was going to put the eyeshadow i didn't want to mess this up like that I didn't want to do us dirty like that. So what I did was, we are doing a palette bingo and we are picking five numbers at random, but she picked my numbers and I picked her numbers. I have not looked at what numbers I'm getting. I didn't want to do that until I finally sat down to film. So I'm going to pull up the numbers that she sent to me that she picked at random for me and we're going to look at the colors together and see what colors I got and what I could come up with because I didn't want to peek at the numbers and the colors before filming this video like I wanted to sit down and just show you guys together and we could work like that so let's get into it also if my hair is a mess don't judge and if my eyebrows are uneven one's darker than the other don't judge okay so I will put on the screen um, don't know if it's over here over there I will put the numbers the text message that she sent to me but the numbers that I received were 2 18 33 
27 and 38 so we are going to check out the numbers right now and I won't lie and say that I'm not scared so the first number is 2 which is this shade right here I'm going to swatch it for you so that is 2 not bad okay so number 18 is this pink shade right here which I will be swatching it to you oh I don't even need to say pink shade because I, I put the name so so number two is actually posh boss and number 18 is actually oh yes this is number 18 I'm not sure if you can see it but it's a beautiful pinkish color and honestly those big pants in the middle of the palette they just have this smooth consistency I did use this in a look before and it just felt like butter the next number is 33 which is going to be loaded lilac which is this shade right here that is a pretty shade too I'm not sure if you can see it but it's pretty the next number is 27 so the next number is 27 which is make it rain and it is this dark purple right here I actually used this purple before and it's really really pretty this is what that shade looks like I'm not even mad because so far I think this is pretty good I think it could have been a lot worse and the last number is 38 which is this shade right here and this shade is called garnet glam which I haven't used that shade okay so it kind of looked like a brownish blackish with sparkles inside so these are the colors that I have to choose from these are the colors that I have to make a look with and now let's get started on the eye look okay so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this I think what I'm gonna do honestly is put this in the crease as well as this dark purple try to darken the outer corner with this what I'm hoping with this shadow is that like the zodiac palette from Kathleen lights there's a shadow in there that it's like a black with specks but when you tap it off most of the glitter pieces come out I'm hoping that happens with this um, I think I I think I got it pretty good I think the numbers did good to me so let's get started so I think what I'm going to actually do is do one eye off camera that way I could save some time because I do gotta go to school tomorrow but let me do one eye off camera and then I'll come back to do the other eye on camera so I will be right back alright guys so I am back I did this eye off camera and now I'm going to show you the look I created using the numbers that Taj picked out I was going to put lashes on but honestly it's 12 40 in the morning and it's no point I'm gonna take them off right after I film this video so I just put some mascara on and I'm gonna call that a day so I'm just taking the number two which is posh boss and i'm putting that in my crease now this shade i wasn't going to put it at first it's like a grayish purplish shade but i also use the shade to like blend everything together in the end you will see you will see but i'm just going to be putting that in the crease and blending it a little bit upwards just because i have put it eyelids and when i cut my crease i want you to be able to see the shadow So that's basically it for that shadow. I will be going back into that shadow to like blend everything together. It looks a little bit messy but I'm not too worried about it because now we are going to go in with this shade right here. Okay so I think this was the number 27. I don't want to keep on counting but I'm going to be putting that in the same place that I put the first shade. Just a tiny bit lower but I am going to, you're going to see so what i'm doing is i'm dipping the brush in i'm tapping the excess off and i am going to start in the crease and then as the product starts to fade off my brush i'm going to start bringing that up so for right now i'm just going to be staying in the crease and i only tapped a little bit because it's better to go in little at a time than to go in with a whole dark color and now you got to blend it out for hours And now I'm going to slowly start bringing it up now both of my eyes are like different shades I think this one 
lays down a little bit more so I try to get them as even as possible so I'm going to leave that like that and I'm going to take this wide fluffy brush I'm not sure I think I got this in the ipsy bag I'm going to go back in with that first shade and tap off the excess and then go back above the dark purple and just really blend it out So now I'm going to take a small brush like this. Now this is from Amazon. I will try to leave the brushes down below because I really need to get better at that. And I'm going to go in with number 38. This does have specs. So what I did was really tap in there because I feel like I'm not a lot picked up on the brush. It's at a product didn't pick up or when I tapped it most of it came off and I tapped it two to three times just because I want to get as much specs off of the brush as possible and I'm just going to start dabbing that on my outer corner and then doing little circular motions okay so now that that is there and that's looking kind of dark I'm just going to take whatever's left on the product and start blending that in my crease. I'm not going to put too much in my crease though because that's not where I wanted to focus the shade. I just wanted to darken it a tad bit. And once again, I'm going in with the first shade I ever used, which is number two. And I'm just taking a little bit and blending everything. So I'm just literally blending on top of the shadows. Okay, so I'm not sure where I left off at. My battery died, but I think I left off with the Jeffree Star Concealer. So I'm taking the concealer in C7. I'm just taking the little applicator and I'm putting some in the back of my hand. Um, I try to take off the product off the brush. That is too much because I'm only doing one eye, but it's okay. And I'm just going to go and cut my crease. So my cut crease is looking crusty. I brought it up way too much and it's not straight here. We're going to keep on moving and I'm going to fix that. But I'm taking this little pencil brush and I'm just patting the end just so that way when I put the shadows in, it's not like a harsh line. Oh shoot. I'm so sorry. I'm over here talking. I forgot I had Juicy Jazz video playing in the background. I'm taking this little flat brush and I'm just packing patting the rest of the concealer so it could be even so i am going to spray my brush because i'm going to go in with number 33 i think this is the shade right here which is called loaded lilac and i'm just putting that on my concealer the concealer thingy really i'm putting it on my lid sorry so I'm going to go back in with that pencil brush and I'm going to go in with Garnet Glam which is number 38 right here and once again I'm going to be tapping that off like two three times and just blending it with the edge of the crease that we just did. Now what I did do was I would dab it into this shade. And I will dab it into the purple that I used just once so I could blend it together so it could somewhat look, you know, together. So I'm just taking this glitter liner. This is just from Amazon. It was like a pack of 12, like $12 or a pack of 10. It was a bunch of different colors. This is silver and I'm just going to line that so I could hide my imperfections. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is put my liner on and just mascara. I'm going to do that off camera and then I will be right back with the rest of my face then. Okay, so I am not done with the eye look. I am going to go in with 38. If I sound a little bit lower, I'm probably not even going to sound lower because I found out how I could kind of whisper but then raise the volume on iMovie. So I think I will be okay, but I'm going to go back in with that 38 shade with a tiny, tiny pencil brush and I'm just going to put down my lower lash line. Now there is one shadow that we did not use yet and that is this one right here. I think that's number 18 and I'm just going to be putting that in my inner corner. So I don't think you can even see it in the inner corner, so I'm just going to layer it on top of that purple shade 
so that way I used it and I used the five shadows that's it so because you can't really see that pink in my inner corner I'm just going to go in with the highlighter that I use for my face which is the Juvia's Place Tribe Highlighter Volume 3 this is what it looks like and I'm just going to put that in my inner corner Alright guys, so that is it. That's going to go ahead and complete this video. Please, please, please don't forget to show her love, positivity, comment, subscribe. Also follow her on Instagram. Also follow me on Instagram. And I just hope you enjoyed this video, this look, and I can't wait to film more for you guys. So with that being said, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Stay blessed and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.